Please tell us your name, where you're from, and what do you do? My name is Allison Pacifico. I'm from San Diego, California, and I am a student at the University of Dayton in Ohio. Why did you choose Belize to volunteer? Um, we went through our university's campus ministry program, and they are in conjunction with the Center of Social Concern. Um, and I applied and got into Belize, and I was super happy about it. How was the U.S. communication prior traveling? Sorry? How was the U.S. communication prior traveling? Oh, it was really good. Um, I'm a team leader along with Mike, and our advisor back at Dayton is Mary Niebler, and she did a really good job forwarding us emails. How was the service the local staff and coordinator provided to you while in Belize? They were fantastic. Um, the service providers and all the caretakers here have been nothing but great. Um, always fun to talk to. The food's amazing. The accommodations are very good. Um, and I'm having a good time. What was a typical day like? A typical day kind of looks like um, in the morning you drop off people or you drop off some kids to their school or the bus stop. And then we come back, do some work here. It could be uh, laundry, it could be um, painting, maybe mowing the grass. Um, I learned how to mow grass and how to weed wax, so that was really fun. Um, and then the kids get back, we play, we have lunch and dinner, um, and then we all go to bed. What was the most surprising thing you experienced while volunteering in Belize? Um, I think the most surprising thing for me to experience was that everyone was so loving here. You could feel it the minute that you walked onto the premises, so that was really good. What was the most challenging thing you experienced while volunteering in Belize? Um, for me personally, I think the most challenging thing was um, eating meat. Um, I've been a vegetarian for a little bit, but I knew that in order to keep up with my protein and making sure that I was working really hard, I had to eat meat. So I think that was maybe one of the more challenging things for me. What type of donation can other volunteers bring for the program? Um, I would highly suggest other volunteers to ask first what the program needs. Um, for me personally, we were thinking like clothes and toys, um, maybe some toiletries, um, and then anything that we didn't already bring, uh, we would just go to the store and ask, you know, hey, the cooks, do you need anything? Can we grab stuff like soap for you and things like that? Are you willing to speak to other potential ABV volunteers? Um, yes, if necessary. Any tips for future volunteers coming into Belize? Um, have an open mind and bring a journal if you can because the days are really long since you're not really on your phone. So if you want to remember everything um, and have a good time, bring a journal. Thank you for volunteering in Belize and we hope to have you back with us soon. Thank you. I hope to come next. Thanks.